Hello, this is Iris from Cashmere Goat in Camden, Maine. And today I'm going to walk you through the steps in adding a project to Ravelry. Um, so what I like to recommend to folks who haven't done this before is that they start on a computer. I think it's just a little bit easier than starting on a phone um, just because it's a little bigger. And once you know the steps of what you're gonna do, on the computer, if that's accessible to you, then you can definitely like apply that and use your mobile device. Cause oftentimes the photos that we take of our knits are on our phones, so it's just more convenient. Um, so I'm actually gonna add the project, uh, the socks that I started working on um, for Socktober, which is the DRK Everyday Sock by Andrea Mowry. I have not added this into my Ravelry project, so I thought it would be a perfect one to show you. Here's the pattern. I'm gonna click on that pattern. And then I'm gonna zoom us in to this upper right hand corner to this area. So it's already listed in my projects and that's because I actually already made a pair of these socks. So they are listed in my projects already. That was the pair that I made this summer, little shorty socks. But today I'm gonna to create a new version of this project, um, which is, this one. So right now I'm looking at a very boring project page. This would be super sad if you were browsing patterns on Ravelry and saw something like this because there's basically no information there yet. We're going to change that. So if I zoom us into this again, upper right hand corner, I'm going to go to edit project. You can see that there's a separate button for add photos. If you just want to quick add a photo and you can see that there's a way for me to add a note just by clicking that button there, but I'm going to just start us from the beginning and we're going to click on that edit project. All right, let's zoom in. I can see right now the default is to in progress because I'm just casting on for this now. I'm going to go ahead and add the date that I started this, which was October 1st. Um, I made size seven. Um, yep, I made a note of that in my notebook. For the pattern category, because it's already defaulting to knitting, because it knows that based on the pattern that I've selected. So I'm going to select accessories and then feet and legs and then socks and then mid calf. Um, and, but here's where I could add another category if I wanted to, like some, some patterns are a little bit of two types of things. So one of the things I always add to my projects is I want to be able to remember and quick reference the needles I used. So I know that I used a size one needle for these socks. Again, if I'm using a pattern that requires a couple of sizes of needles, like let's say a sweater, here's where I could add another needle size. Um, uh, you're going to laugh, but I didn't use a gauge swatch for this pattern because I've already knit it before. So I'm going to just fill in the gauge from the pattern. And again, maybe that's a little lazy of me, but I figured I already knit a pair of these and they fit my feet. So I was pretty safe without a gauge swatch. And then I always like to add my yarn. So here's where I can go ahead and add yarn. And this yarn that I used was paint gradient and that's a Land du Nord yarn. And so the thing that I wanna do here is click the link button um, because I wanna tie it into Ravelry database. And so here's my yarn, paint gradient sock. And what's fun is it's already adding in the grams and the yardage because it knows this yarn already, it's in the database. Um, the colorway, a lot of times you'll use this drop down and it'll show you the whole list of colors. That's not happening here. I happen to know my colorway is 15 and uh, I don't know. I don't really care about the dye lot for this. Um, so it's going to be one skein because one skein equals two socks. And here's where I'll add in, where did I get the yarn? It was cashmere goat. No surprise. Now, okay. Sometimes I've gone ahead and hit the return button here after this. And it just kind of is annoying that it doesn't work like this, but what I need to remember always is to click the link button. If you hit enter, it's not the end of the world. It's just, it kind of bounces you back one step and you have to go back in and re-edit the page. Um, so, yep, this is the shop I am talking about. 
and I usually don't bother putting in when I bought it or how much I spent. That might be scary. And then here at the bottom is where I would add any project notes. So I'm going to say cast on for Socktober 2023 at the goat. Now I'm always able to come back and edit any part of this project later. So there might be other notes that I'm gonna add in, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And then super important, I wanna to remember to hit the save changes button at the bottom of the page. So this is starting to look a lot better. Um, but it's missing something super important, which is a photograph. Now I don't have a finished photograph yet. I just have a photograph of like one sock sort of swirled around some yarn and a sock in process. I really always like to add a, um, picture of like a finished project when it's like maybe on my foot, if I can do that with this, with this, but it's always nice to see a project on a person. So I'm going to go up here to the top and click on add photos. So I'm going to choose files because this photo lives on my computer right now. And here is the photo. And then I need to hit upload now. And it will upload that image. And then now I'm going to say finished with photos. So that's it. It's as simple as that. And now I have a cute little photo of my sock in process and what it looks like sort of finished. Um, and I just, I'm hoping that this will help you feel more confident adding your own projects in Ravelry. I know that especially for newer designers, I, we've learned this from Alice Dunn-Smith of Birch Tree Knitting, that it's really helpful for folks to add a project in if they're knitting something because um, it just helps other Ravelers see the, see the project, see what's going on, see how it knits up, see the size differences. Um, anyway, so if you have found this video helpful, please give us a like or a comment down below here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe here to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. In the meantime, I hope that you are making something fun. So happy making and happy knitting, happy crocheting, and uh, stay tuned for hopefully some more videos about pro moves with Ravelry. Thanks for watching.